Hello again, and welcome back to another one. And today we have a couple of topics to cover, all linked to the latest from a few hours ago when this happened. Um, this is airing on local television Mom Spaghetti, and the writer shared a link under that stated, Eminem launching Mom Spaghetti spot airing local commercials. There's more to this tweet from the writer that's quite fascinating, which we'll get to later, and it was brought to my attention that the clip used in the commercial was from a 2017 Eminem AR app that's now used to promote the restaurant in 2021, and fans on the internet and Eminem associates have since reacted, and more legit theories have also popped up, including a confirmation from a reporter about what this is all about in the grand scheme of things. And as we dive into the details, if you enjoy content like this, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and find me on social media at etlifestyle underscore web. So to set the tone for this video, back in 2017, hours before Eminem dropped Revival, he shared this on Twitter. Detroit, come vomit up some spaghetti with me this weekend at our official revival pop-up, exclusive merch spaghetti, and more. And this time it looks to be a legit restaurant, and mainstream outlets have covered the story across the board, which is a great way to get the ball rolling. And initially reactions from fans were along these lines. Definitely an album on the way. No way, I'm just gonna open a freaking restaurant like that. Definitely a promotion. We have more to add to this later, and Paul Rosenberg shared the report on his IG that sparked reactions from several associates, including Eminem's photographer, Nate, but it was Frederick's reaction that sparked discussions. Is this a secret message? Is the new album hiding in the spaghetti? Tune in for this week's episode of Psycho Stan Messages, and it looks like Frederick has had enough of the DMs and news reports linking him to the album rumors, since he is literally the center of the MMLP3 rumors. But I would have to side with the in quote Psycho Stan's here, because his initial tease pointed to Woodward Avenue, and days later, Eminem is set to open a restaurant right there, and the in quote Psycho Stan's are firing back at Frederick on Reddit, for instance, a user state. This guy posts illusions to Eminem, then gets annoyed when fans post questions to him about it. Another adds, that guy is so freaking annoying, he's done this ish twice now, he knows exactly what he's doing when he posts that random ish, then acts like people are crazy and obsessed with him. My interpretation of his comment is that it's just more trolling, and back to the topic of the ad, the phone number at the end when called pretty much says the same thing said in the ad, but at the end adds this segment. Mom spaghetti. It's all ready. Order in the alley between Union Assembly and the Fillmore. Then head in to find a seat next to the bodega. Or head upstairs to scope out the trailer. The store for stands that you will only find above. Mom's Spaghetti. It's all ready. Mom's in the trailer. Grand opening at 5 p.m. on September 29th. <laughs> and detectives on Reddit have been able to dig up stories that show things were set in motion weeks ago, check this out. Interesting, pop-up restaurant opened in the same spot last month, and the link shows on August 4th, new restaurant opening in downtown Detroit overlooking Comerica Park and Woodward Avenue, and the user clarifies under the thread, that actually is the restaurant that the pop-up is based out of. Pretty sure Union owns and operates out of that location, and that Mom Spaghetti is in quotes collabing with them. And here's what some fans are thinking right now, considering driving like 10 hours to get some spaghetti and not ashamed. And before we get to more from the reporter on Eminem's upcoming album, and also legit hints of the release day, oddly enough but not surprising, verified Eminem haters hopped on the Mom Spaghetti report, and they are getting ratioed accordingly, like this for instance. Unpopular opinion, Eminem's whole tenure as a rapper hasn't aged well, Shaw is written classic-ish for Dre, but his own albums? Who's bumping the Slim Shady LP today? This is coming from a writer that has Washington Post among other publications they've written for, hence I had to add to the action. Not everyone gotta like Eminem, but when you mix this with ignorance, yikes! Since you asked, Slim Shady LP is the second most streamed hip-hop album of 1999 behind Dr. Dre 2001. Not too late to delete this. And to add to this, MMLP and The Eminem Show are the most streamed hip-hop albums released in 2000 and 2002 respectively, which begs the question, if Eminem's old material aged badly, what does that say about other rap albums from that era? But here we are, and I had to add, these writers forget to do a bit of research before they spill crap about Eminem. I don't even know these people, but I get secondhand embarrassment when I see tweets like this from verified writers, and some fans came in vicious like they play for a top Spanish club. 
This woman needs interaction. Let's start. Slim Shady LP will reach soon 1 billion streams. Eminem was the sixth best selling artist in 2020. Curtin Cole has now spent 546 weeks on Billboard 200. His old songs are trending on TikTok. What else? And back to the main topic at hand, a reporter shared this after the Mom Spaghetti ad. I told you a few weeks ago that Aftermath had three releases for the last quarter, Eminem, Kendrick and Dre. This week I received a lot of info that I have to keep confidential, but this is 100% the beginning of the official campaign for the new album, for those who had doubts if it would come. I believe all doubts have been cleared recently, but what remains the question? Is this a sequel album or a standalone album? And I've seen jokes about Revival 2 pop up because the Mom Spaghetti ad is similar to Revival's in late 2017. So much so that some believe this. Last time when we had this kind of news, it was 15th December, the same day that Revival dropped. Too much coincidence. And here's a great find on Reddit that also hints at the 1st October release. The tweet reference in the article was posted at 10.01 AM today by a film critic in Detroit there's that 1001 date again. I actually looked this up and this is legit from the writer who first posted that the Eminem ad is on television. All I'll say is get your Soviet slash napkins ready, we about to eat. That will be all for now, comment below thanks for watching and see you on the next one.